Hey guys, how's it going? So I'd gotten a bunch of comments, um, even emails sent to me. Uh, in regards to this Tacoma, the one that wouldn't start, and it turned out somebody had jumped the battery backwards, blew the fuses, and I had said that's an easy mistake to make because both the cables, positive and negative, were black. So I got comments on, um, comments? I got comments on um, how I should have done something to, note, to, to make it obvious that which side is positive, which side is negative. You're right. You're absolutely right, 100%. And I had already done that. I just, I neglected to show it in a video. It was at the end when I was all said and done, I did do this, but I did it after I ended the video. So here is the truck. It's still here. Today's Sunday. Um, I was driving by the shop and I was like, you know what? Let me make a video on this. So here's the truck. It's still here. I guess he's picking it up tomorrow. Man, where's the hood release? I'm gonna show you what I did. That's what I did. It's just red electrical tape that I wrapped around the terminal there. That way it identifies it. Well, actually, look at that. I should probably put a little zip tie on there to help hold that in place. Well, I guess it's a good thing I came and looked. <clears throat> yeah, actually, I will do that while I'm here. So, but I had done that. I mean, it's a good idea to do that. It's only say so identify. Some people said that, you know, they spray paint it red or whatever, which is fine. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. I prefer the red electrical tape. The red electrical tape, you can get that at the parts store. And I have it in my toolbox for that very reason. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little zip tie and wrap it around that cable and the other one too, just to hold, just so the uh, tape doesn't unfurl and come off of there. So let me do that real quick and then let's just end this video. All right, so real simple. Just gonna take a zip tie like this. Can I even prop? I don't have my tripod. It's in the shop. Can I set this up where you can actually see what I'm doing? And then I go around the tape. It's just to keep the tape from unfurling itself. That's all. Do the same on the other side, just to be on the safe side. That's all, just like that. And let me cut the tails off. Actually, I got a razor knife on my truck somewhere. I'm parked right here. Uh, where did I put that stuff? Yeah, it is here, okay. I like to cut the tails close to the, the buckle part because that helps keep it from being like a super sharp edge that you get cut on. So, so anyway, that's it. Just something simple. Like I said, you guys pointed it out and you were 100% right. So, but uh, anyway, it was already done. I should have showed it. But I didn't, and I apologize for that. So, anyway, that's about it. So, I got a bunch of errands to run today. I'm not here at the shop today. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.